Hello, project managers. We're back with part two of my short Notion and Trello integration duology. For those who've missed it, go check out part one and learn how to add the Trello integration to Notion. Otherwise, once you have the integration installed, you are then clear to use Trello's two main features in Notion. Here's what they are and how to use them. First up is the data import feature that lets users import Trello boards and card data into Notion database page. Information copied into Notion includes the different columns in the board, cards in each column, and other card details such as text descriptions, image covers, attached documents, and HTML links. In this example, I'm going to import the Trello reading list board into Notion. To do this, go to the Notion side navigation, then select Import at the bottom of the side menu. A choice of apps will appear on the center pane. Click on the Trello box. Notion will show a confirmation page that informs the user of what it means to allow Notion to access the user's Trello account. To continue with the data import, click on Allow. A pop-up window will let you choose which boards from your Trello account you wish to import. Select on the board you want and click on Import. After the data is imported, Notion should create a new page called Trello Reading List. However, the positions of the columns might be arranged differently. Plus, you might also see the addition of a No Status column. This can easily be rearranged using the drag and drop. Otherwise, everything else should have copied over successfully. Another feature of the Trello integration with Notion is a link preview. By pasting a Trello link in Notion using Paste as Preview option, Notion users are able to sync updates happening in Trello and instantly see the effect of the updates in a Notion page. In some cases, this feature is not as smoothly implemented as the data import feature. User feedback seems to indicate that pasting a board link is not possible and only card links will show the correct result. Despite that, I'm still going to go ahead and show you how to use it in a case you want to give it a try. One way to do this is by copying a link to a Trello card and then go to a Notion page to paste it. When you do this, Notion will give you several paste options. Select the Paste as Preview option to show the detailed preview of the linked content as well as any updates to it. Another way to implement this feature is by using the slash shortcut. Head to a Notion page and type slash Trello to see what actions are available. The Trello integration should then let you embed a Trello card in the page by pasting the card's link. Next, after you use select paste as preview or the slash shortcut, select connect to Trello to update. If this is your first time connecting the two apps, you will see a message of what the connection can do. Users who have access to the Notion page where the Trello card is embedded will see rich previews that update in real time. To continue with the integration, click connect. You will have to log into your Trello account and give Notion permission to access certain data. Again, in some cases, paste as preview might not work and only paste as link does. Also, clicking connect to Trello to update may result in a session not found message, even after giving Notion permission to access the Trello account. That's a wrap on how to use the two main Trello integration features in Notion. If you like this tutorial, but want to read it as a guide instead, then go check out this article. But before you go, don't forget to click the like icon, hit the subscribe button, and check out project-management.com for other PM solutions. Thanks for watching.